hi there this is going to be a general love reading oh, i apologize that i haven't been on regularly on youtube or instagram but as most of you know my daughter has graduated high school class of 2020 and so you know they didn't have a traditional graduation they had um a virtual one first and then they had their drive through one yesterday and then um we can't have a traditional graduation party so we're gonna have a drive through one this weekend for a celebration so it's a lot she's my only child right but also it's just that it's so different 2020's graduation and we were so worried that it was gonna be not great but i gotta tell you it was better than most traditional ceremonies I've been to. The whole drive through, if you've gone through it with your kids, congratulations to your kids. You drive through with them, they get out, they walk, you're in the car videoing, toot your horn. The kids, they loved it. The kids that I know, they were like, this is amazing. Like seriously, it was so memorable for them, you know? Kids are our future, they are. I wanna thank each and every one of you for all of your likes, um, on of course all anything that I post to my daughter but also um, all of your comments and your emails and your DMs congratulating her you guys are amazing some of you even sent like donations you know to her for her college fund and speaking of which if you guys know of any type of scholarships out there that is not financial based needed because a lot of scholarships out there you got to have a certain income bracket which we go over most of them you know which is why for college most of it it's as if like I've got to pay almost the whole thing out of pocket So if you guys know of anything that's not income based, please let me know My daughter graduated summa cum laude. She just missed the 4.0 and Unfortunately for her. She doesn't qualify for a lot of Things because of our income So of course we've exhausted all financial aid You know from her standpoint. So again, if you guys just know anything, please let me know you know, it's the first time I've got a kid going to college, so I'm very unaware of all these things. Scholarships and such, we've done the best that we can to do what she can, but right now I'm just like, maybe there are other things out there where we just are unaware of. You know, there's scholarships for a lot of different things, and who knows? Grants and such too, you know, if there's grants that you guys know of. My daughter's gonna go to an expensive school, and it's expensive because we're not residents. So you got to pay that out of residence fee. I know this is like the struggle of, of us parents, yeah, parents and single parents. But whatever we got to do for our kids, yeah, they are the future. They are the future. First card we have is take action. And then below that, you have choose a new direction. It feels very important of taking action. This is the first domino. Okay, something is the first domino, and then you choose a new direction, okay? We're gonna choose a new direction, we're gonna go, first domino falls, creates this windfall of abundance, opportunities. I feel like it's shit that you don't even see coming, or shit that you kind of go, never. it's when pigs fly. As you know, we've been channeling that for quite a bit, when pigs fly. It has this feeling to it of the solutions to your issues the outcomes you're looking for may shock you and in a good way this golden opportunity here it's like this showering it's this windfall of abundance and then you also have perfect timing see that hourglass there too with the Fibonacci swirl something about the timing of things has to be just right it has to be just right for whatever this is or th whatever this is coming in because it could also be you taking that initiative or, or doing something whether it's saying something whether it's applying for something whether it's breaking up with someone or uh, saying hi i don't know what that initiative is the, the perfect timing of the initiative or the perfect timing of you receiving this abundance is key it's almost as if like it cannot come in too soon or it cannot come in too late there's this perfect time for it to come in and it feels very divinely guided i guess that was clarification and confirmation um it feels very much so divinely guided also i keep forgetting today's friday it feels like a weekend doesn't it i keep forgetting i keep thinking tomorrow is or today's the weekend i mean i guess it's start of the weekend it's friday but it literally feels like saturday all right, let's see. 
holy shit there you go boom kanani the ace of pentacles the windfall the abundance boom see it ace of pentacles for me has always been a card about moving or career change but it's a solid offer of something big something great a job or this is a bonus or fucking money look at her she is like hitting the jackpot it's like seven 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 and then boom here comes the, the jackpot see that but you have to be open to receive this meaning if you're stuck in a low vibration you cannot see your blessings see how she's looking up and her hands are free to catch so things can't keep you tied down hate anger sadness um envy any of those kind of energies it keeps you in this vibration of not being able to receive abundance or, or blessing they feel like blessings they feel like a divine blessing the fool this is ridiculous bottom of the deck had the fool i should have just took it like i would normally feel it out and take it but i was like now nah, i'm gonna shuffle freaking fool falls out again because it's the card to take this is a brand new beginning it's a clean slate if you had let's say debt bills someone freaking your your fairy godmother fairy godfather comes in pays off your bills you ever saw like this is so crazy they're showing me this undercover boss have you ever seen that show oh my god i freaking love that show if i had a really big business i would love to do that you know if i i just would love to do that because i would just love to see what's happening first of all on the front lines second of all i want to bless people if i can right it's all about that blessing of people this just has this feeling to it of like blessings are going to come in ways you don't expect the fool is taking a leap of faith that's that action over here too y'all taking that leap of faith it's also the alpha it's the beginning the beginning of something new it feels very clean slated but it's the definitely the beginning of something new so this could be where maybe you're finishing up any kind of endings right now the moon the moon is Pisces energy. The moon is cycles and phases. A particular old cycle has ended. The fool brings on this new cycle. But there's something you've got to do that's kind of like a risk. Or it has this feeling of like taking a leap of faith. Whatever it is, it's something that requires faith. Now remember, faith, we, we can't see it. It's like understanding that if I'm going to jump off this cliff, I know I'm going to land fine. Even if I can't see the bottom, I just trust I have faith. Faith is something that you believe in that you can't see. It's the ultimate trust, isn't it? This is trusting what I don't see. Who I got the fucking chills. I trust that I don't see this yet, but I trust that it is there. When I jump, when I take this leap of faith, I trust that's waiting for me. It's literally trusting in the freaking unknown that you can't see. And it has very much so to do with this abundance. The moon is what you do not see coming. It's what's hidden. You don't see this abundance. The hanged man. It's a change of perspective with the hanged man. Someone frees themselves though. See like how he's got the rope or string in his hand and he's letting himself go? Feels like someone here was at a stalemate, but they're just, they're about to pop in, if that makes any sense. This could be if someone was watching you and they've been watching from afar and have an approach. Someone's about to pop in. It's just the way they say it. <laughs> and it feels like there was a stalemate. There was a pause or there was nothing happening, but it's going to be ha Knight of Pentacles, pause. Seven of Wands, blocking it out being on the defense maybe they were on the defense and that's why they didn't approach whether this is a job offer or a love offer someone here was blocking it out or blocking it from being manifested or offering or or receiving it it was at a standstill this particular offer or this was your energy that was blocking out this abundance because remember we have to be in this state of receiving if the sign says we're closed get the fuck out of here we're closed get the fuck out of here the universe is not going to deliver goods if your door says closed right it has to be open if your door says closed you closed 
Oh, Lord. Eight of Pentacles working really hard on something. Somebody here has been grinding for a minute, and your hard work is just about to pay off. Look at this Nine of Pentacles. Holy shit, it's gorgeous. Look at her, her grapes. Now, this could have something to do with Napa Valley or wine. Remember before, like last year or something, I felt like Italy with wine and stuff, but it's going to be resonating for you if it resonates for you. But she is picking her harvest. She is self-made. The hard work is going to fucking pay off, period. Yeah, that's that exchange. We know we, th that saying about was his name, Howard Schultz. He the owner of um, Starbucks. He was denied a business loan. How many times? Imagine if he gave up, you would never have a Starbucks. He was turned down like this ridiculous number of times. It's about believing in oneself, first of all. Okay, that's that action. Like, I'm going to believe in myself. Choose a new direction. If this doesn't pan out, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go there. It's about not giving up. It's the highest frequency you can be on besides love, right? Love is the highest frequency. But being, it's perseverance and it's not giving up. That's insane. Like, the universe loves a stubborn heart you know they do it's like such perseverance you got a king of cups energy here that is on the fence about offering something or speaking something king of cups cancer scorpio pisces but he can be any sign it's the two of wands making a decision it's life-changing also someone here is possibly thinking of offering something that's life-changing to you or them or the both of you Oh my God, somebody's burdens are about to come to an end. See this person carrying the load? If this is financial, with this opportunities card, done. You have financial burdens, done. This job opportunity changes your fucking life. You no longer struggle. You meet a person, you no longer have to struggle. Okay, whatever this is, this long journey that you've been carrying, whatever burden it is no longer is the point. But this is not a person that laid their begging for people to help and being lazy you see it here eight of pentacles they worked hard they're self-made but they may not be self-made in the aspect of being a millionaire or having all their debts paid off or something do you know what i mean they're probably in that weird bracket like me financially six of cups it's a past life soulmate there's also something here about memories somebody could be dreaming about you and then the eight of cups look at them oh i just got the chills remember you have the moon here to the moon i got the chills i feel like this person here is sitting here i feel like this is a huge collective energy with this pandemic a lot of people have been out of work a lot of people have lost their businesses sitting here saying i've done everything i can i've tried everything i can dear god luna freya universe buddha angels jesus please help me and i know that i cannot see anything manifested yet but i just believe that i didn't put in all this hard work to get the shit in it's someone here saying i whatever this is that i have done it's coming to an end or they're walking away from something that has not been emotionally fulfilling whatever it is it has this feeling to it of this is not it or this is not panning out or i've done everything i can or whatever it is is ending and i'm talking to the moon and the moon hears me and the moon talks back, honey. Very brutal Mars. Talking to the moon. I know, I'm so sorry. I hate to be one of those people that's be like singing, bitches ain't karaoke. I know, bitch, I know. But you guys also know it's what they do. They channel songs to me, so I gotta sing it to you guys. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice because yesterday at my daughter's drive through celebration in Hawaii, we love to chee hoo. Chee hoo. Um, it's a Hawaii, it's a Hawaii thing. I don't know why we do it. Um, Maybe it's a Polynesian thing too, y'all. Could be. But then in Hawaii, you know, we practice all types of cultures and it's a melting pot here in Hawaii. So and you'll find that. Yeah? You come to Hawaii, you'll be all like, oh, you guys got like a lot of different, you know, ethnicities all kind of mixed in to um, your culture. And it's like, absolutely. It goes back to the plantation days. That's how come a lot of Hawaii people are a lot of different ethnicities. Like me, I'm half Japanese, but I'm also Filipino, Portuguese, Hawaiian, and French. And so... We got a lot of ethnicities. So anyway, the chihu thing was like, chihu. And my throat now is like, oh. and I'm like starting to lose my voice. Now, 
Somebody here has been fighting for something. They come through victorious. See the five of wands? Fighting for something. This ace of swords is victory. You you come on you come out on top. <gasps> the ace of wands, bottom of the deck. <gasps> Bitch, this is a brand new beginning, and so it begins. Oh, <gasps> two of cups after that. Love and money. Not bad, huh? <laughs> More importantly, we pray for peace. I'm not even trying to pray for love. I don't want romantic love. I want peace. I want there to be peace in this world. I want there to be peace in people's heart. I, I don't want injustice for people. I want peace and equality, the locket. Holding something near and dear, treasuring something, cherishing something. This could be a family heirloom. This is also about joy. This is some something that somebody keeps really close to them is what it feels. Like they, they're cherishing something. Cherishing something or someone. I don't know where the book is, but it's okay. The locket. Hold, they hold it close. It also can be something that, not that it's secret, but somebody holds something close to them. Meaning, if this King of Cups is watching you, you're his precious, you're my precious. You're his, but he didn't scream it to the world yet because he's afraid if he tells people about you, it has this weird feeling to it of, I'm afraid to tell them about him or her because I don't want them to like them too. That's cute. It's endearing. Give the lilies... The lilies is about peace. Oh, wow, it's insane. I keep feeling peace. Peace is the first thing that popped in my head. Harmony. It's about elders. It's about what have we learned. It's about life experience, wisdom, shit like that. Yeah? It's a highly evolved person. <clears throat> you would have to be highly evolved to be able to know how to play chess. It's about playing chess, not checkers. Okay? It's just straight across the board, honey. Okay? So straight across the board. Got to play chess. The key. Thresholds, doors opening, gateways opening, new beginnings, unlocking something. A, 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 an avenue, a solution, an opportunity, a thing, a person that you thought was a hell no, never, ever, 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 forever, ever, ever. Thought was never, ever going to happen. Literally, it happens. The thing that you thought no is a yes, if that makes sense. We're in this energy space of you, when you wish upon a star, anything your heart desires will be yours. House. You know what's really weird is I keep seeing house stuff, okay? Like, when we were at my mom's house yesterday after my daughter's drive through graduation, we were watching TV. And my brother them and my mom them, they all love a show, which I've never watched before. Yes, it was the first time. It's that show about lottery, very specifically, how crazy is this? Lottery winners that are buying their dream home, okay? Right, I've never seen it before. I've never watched the episodes, but apparently they've watched it all. They love them. And I remember watching it thinking, that is so crazy. Because I kept saying, oh, I can't wait till I get a large sum of money so I can buy a house outright. Oh, I'm so excited. And it's something about that energy resonated. It's almost like some of you could get a freaking windfall. Here we go with the windfall, honey. There are no damn accidents when I see shit on TV or stuff that happens. Somebody could get a windfall, whether it's winnings of lottery, whether somebody give you some money or you marry a rich motherfucker. There's something with a house. Buying a new house. Moving in. But also the house is this place where it's residency and it's also my place that I feel safe and secure. It is also for some of you getting the keys to a house, you're going to own a house. It feels very important about this owning of a house, but it's also about moving in with someone for a lot of you. Okay. Now, why I feel like that's super important because it could be somebody's either getting a house or buying a house because it comes through some kind of an opportunity. Occupation. Bitch, the grind. I'm telling you, somebody here is going to hit it big. It's through perseverance. They never, ever, ever gave up, no matter how many doors were slammed in their face. They never, ever gave up. Look at the poverty card. Rags to riches. 
it's so funny too because i was you know thinking about that too like for parents like me that back in the day yeah if we would have had our kids go to college then and they had to do fafsa our call they probably would have went to college for free because we was broke as shit back in the day honey the struggle was motherfucking real and now of course when we're doing better <laughs> when we've built ourselves up <laughs> the government be all oh bitch you gonna pay for everything and we'd be all everything and they'd be all everything in my cat williams voice now, someone here has had lack of things, okay, but their occupation, their, their drive, their work ethic, never giving up has pushed them into this energy space or alignment, okay, of abundance. Now, you got the thief here. Thief is obvious, right? Somebody who could be wanting to take something from you, someone who's trying to pull one over on you. Oh, lucky of adjudication. This could be some kind of a court issue. Somebody could be trying to get out of paying for something that they owe. Child support, alimony. This could also be any kind of other injustice, right? Something to do with court legal things. Somebody trying to get away with something. This could be straight across the board in a lot of different things, okay, honey? And you have the lovers. Romance of a lifetime. Maybe that's a thing. Someone's trying to take that from you. They don't want you to have that person. Oh! <gasps> Remember earlier I said they, they feel like they want to keep it to themselves because if they tell people about you, they're afraid those people will like you too? <laughs> what the fuck? That's what it feels like. It feels like they're keeping you secret because they're afraid someone's going to steal you. Steal you in the way of like, oh, they're going to, what if they're interested in them and not me? Lovers. Could be Gemini energy. Gemini sees, I know. Community. See, they're afraid to show you off. But they're not going to be afraid to show you off when you're theirs. Like, if you guys get married or you're in a relationship, they're not going to be afraid to show you off. But it's like they, right now, they don't want to be all like, oh, do you know so-and-so? And they'd be all, oh, they're, oh, they're hot. Oh, they're self-made. Oh, he rich. Oh, bitch, he's single. Like, they're just going like, oh, I don't want these bitches to see my man. But even though it's not your man. It's your man, but it ain't your man. It's your girl, but it ain't your girl. It's, it's endearing false person someone here is also like watching not making themselves known undercover oh <gasps> weird remember i was talking about undercover boss maybe the boss is watching oh <gasps> what does that mean the boss god universe jesus or someone who's big dick energy emperor who owns a successful business fortune 500 bitch i'm not sure but look at what you get, the fucking unexpected income. I told you it's going to come in some kind of weird, crazy way. Bitch, I'm telling you, the unexpected income could come from this person. The unexpected income could come from freaking lottery winnings, okay? Like, why did I watch that show? It's like, oh my God, I don't know. That's why I'm keeping my options open for tuition. Because it's like, if I close myself off with anything love opportunities tuition anything right this is in general if we close ourselves off and are not open to the infinite possibilities of how it could be then we close ourselves off to all the infinite possibilities that it could be and what if one of the possibilities is so insane it's when pigs fly but what if it that's what it's meant to be it's meant to be this glorious thing for you like you can't count anything out i think is the point here we have to just be really positive whether this is work whether this is our kids college whether this is love do not count anything out it's so funny too because i feel like that's been the running energy or the running theme oh my god privileged lady bottom of the deck she's the counterpart to the wealthy man some of you you're gonna be landing a rich motherfucker or you the rich motherfucker it's like share said my mom said marry a rich man mom I am a rich man. Sherry ain't never been wrong, honey. But if you well off or you're in a good place financially, I feel like the other person is more so rich, rich. To me, rich, rich or, or to be well off is somebody who has a house paid off, their cars are paid off, they have no debt. 
and they still have money in the bank to live the way they want to live. That's to me a place of like financial stability. Many of us are not in that boat, right? We're not in that place, but are we able to pay our bills and live pretty great? Yeah, but we're not in that rich, rich kind of a category. And of course people argue and say, well, it's not about financial, it's about rich in spirit and heart and emotion, obviously, but it's also about we live in a muggle world and we don't pay rent by love. You know what I mean though, we don't pay rent by hi good morning and then that paid your rent oh no bitch money paid that rent okay love don't pay the rent money do it's a muggle world that we live in <laughs> anyway somebody's gonna hit it big in a, in a very unexpected way they're gonna get this windfall of abundance keep your eyes open keep your eyes peeled okay i want to thank you guys all for all of your likes shares and your subscriptions here on youtube thank you so much and also follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi and if you want to book a reading with me um all of the options are below and for a limited time i am offering yet again 30 dollar one question one answer request now what this means is you cannot ask something that's going to take a hell of a lot to answer you would have to ask something that i can respond to very easily in one response i pull some cards i send a picture of it to you and i tell you what i get back but you have to make sure the question that you ask is something you can't be all like asking something that you know it's going to take me forever in that case honey you gotta book a regular reading okay we can't be squeaking by like that and getting away with stuff like that just book a regular reading <sighs> Okay, so those are first come, first serve. Wait for the um, invoice. You email me, of course, and then wait for the invoice. And for those that want to book regular readings, <clears throat> I am still in the process of clearing out the last bit of recorded personal readings that I have. <clears throat> There's about five, five or six people left. If you are one of those five or six people left on the list that you have not received your recorded reading, it is coming. Everything with my daughter's graduation has put me behind, okay? I'm so sorry for that. If you want a refund, as always, email me and I'll refund you, no questions asked. If you want to wait, I promise you, the early part of this week, all things will be sent. So if you want to book a recorded reading, then you can book those. I am accepting those again. I feel long, I feel like I went off, so I'm all... <sighs> like long-winded i'm sorry there was a lot to talk about and i have a gemini rising so you know gemini's mercury all right i'll see you guys later i love you guys bye